Hi, this is Tristan Pierce. Today is Monday and I am still in Austin, Texas. Today's agenda is a little different than the last one. I am picking up a rental car today. I'm going to pick up the rental car at 11 a.m. It's a little bit after 10 right now, so I need to hurry up and eat some hotel breakfast, get the rental car, and then I'm driving to, I think, a town called Georgetown. Anyway, we are going to some underground caves today for some ultimate exploring. If this combo does not scream America, I don't know what is. There's my whip for the next three days. Ain't she cute? Ignore the fact that the steering wheel's in my way. I am so excited to have a car. I feel more excited now than I did when my vacation first started. And I think it's because you just get so used to driving places and I kind of felt restricted only being able to go places on scooters because I didn't want to pay for like an Uber or a Lyft. Now I'm like, guys, we're free. I'm in a Jeep Wrangler. I could take the top off if I wanted to. However, my sunburn is telling me not to. These caves are like 30 miles away from where I picked up my car, which isn't too bad because there doesn't seem to be any traffic on the freeway. So I'm just sightseeing, driving in the middle lane, cruising along, blaring K-pop. I bet this Jeep has never even heard K-pop before. Okay, so I'm here. It's literally directly off the freeway. This is hilarious. The freeway's right there. You mean to tell me? Oh, I didn't realize it was so zoomed in still. Hold on. You mean to tell me that there is a giant cave system just casually next to a freeway? Okay, this is like a diagram of the whole thing. And it's starting right here. And the one that I'm doing is this red one. That's like, I think she said a half mile there and back, so it'll take uh, like an hour and a half. It was 1963 when the cave was found, there was actually no entrance. The lactides are up on the roof, and when they drip down, it forms stalagmites because they might reach the roof. <laughs> So this wall right here is obviously man-made. This wall was created because there was a sinking right on the other side, but nobody wants to stare at an ugly cement wall all day. So, an, a French artist named Freire came to paint these in 1966. These are pictures of what the animals would have looked like when they were alive down in the cave. This is a giant ground sloth. It was so big, it was as, almost as big as an SUV. Their nails got so long that they had to walk on their knuckles. Over here is a glyptodon. These are a relative of the armadillo, except they could not roll up in a ball. Their shells were fused. And they also had a mace tail as a weapon. And all these white specks and pieces around are bone and tusk fragments. Hello. I'm going to a place called Enchanted Rock for a hike. I've also decided I'm taking the top off on that Jeep and I feel like it's going to be problematic for me. Okay, I figured it out. I already feel my sunburn hurting, so I don't think this is gonna last very long, but I'm gonna deal with it for a little while. All right, here is our destination, folks. Okay, here's the rundown. It costs $8 to get into here. I am starting here and following this line on the left to park. Wait, to park, yeah, where that bathroom sign is. And then that's my hike to the summit. Oh, I'm already tripping and I haven't even started yet. It's kind of nice that it's just like stones. So at least I know I'm not really just gonna like slip and fall. But at the same time, I'm realizing how far up that is. You can do this.
from the bats and on my way back, I saw a Whataburger, Whataburger and I was like, sure, I'll try it. Never had it before. Mm. I have like the spicy chicken sandwich and some spicy ketchup and there's some fries over there and that's a chocolate shake. I give it like a six out of 10. Like there's nothing like super special about it. Hi, I'm falling asleep. I need to shower off the the hiking sweat though before I do that. But I just wanted to recap on the day we spent together. Super cute day. You looked great all day. I think my favorite part was definitely the caves. What was so amazing to me is that that cave system was discovered because they were drilling for oil and then I think they were doing core drilling to make sure that the ground was stable to build the interstate. So that's like Interstate 35 that goes up through Austin. Part of the cave that we were walking through, the guy was like, the freeway is actually directly above us right now. He's like, if it was extremely quiet in this cave, you'd be able to hear the cars going by. And that just blew my mind. So if you're ever here and you decide to do the cave system, I definitely recommend it. Enchanted Rock, is that what it was called? Enchanted Rock. I would recommend it. However, be prepared for a really long drive. It took me uh, like an hour and a half to get there, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here and then I'm gonna be picking up on another one tomorrow. I am going to a coffee shop on a lake and I think I'm going to a peacock sanctuary. I'm also going on another hike. I like to plan stuff, but I also like the spontaneity. Is that the word? Wow, I don't speak English. I like to be spontaneous and I like to not know a little bit just for the excitement. Just like when I drove to that enchanted rock all those hours away, there was no phone service when I was there and my data plan is out. So I actually made it from that place all the way back to my hotel in Austin without using my GPS. That's just incredible. It's so thrilling and it's just like trusting yourself and your inner navigation system, whatever. Here is where I say goodnight. You will see me in the next video. I don't know what my posting schedule is, so honestly just make sure you're subscribed and turn on the bell notification thing so you know when I post. All right, good night. What am I doing? Oh wow, you're really close to my face. I don't like this. Okay, bye. My lips are sunburned. Yay.